Today in the wood yard, look what I bought. Ooh. So it only took me many months to finally listen to all of your requests for me to spend more money. And I bought myself the Hallmaster load unloader truck bed cargo unloader thingy 2,000 pounds I think it'll lift an elephant according to the instructions anyway there it is I just got it last night I went to Harbor Freight and picked it up and I have a couple deliveries today so I'm gonna hook it up I want to see what happens well last night I got it and I paid $44.95 plus tax I think it was like 47 bucks so the way I figure even if it's a piece of crap it's only 50 bucks so we'll find out my concerns are is that because this is uh the frozen tundra here in wisconsin is that i get snow and debris build up you know underneath it and it would you know freeze on or i get like right now this morning it was 18 degrees and so anything that i had on there is frozen on i can't get it off um, i got it in the sun right now as you can see i'm trying to thaw this out a little bit and see if I can get some of the more debris out of there. And uh, because I know if I get a whole bunch of sawdust and build up on there, that if it freezes in, it's not gonna slide very good pulling out. But if it pulls 2,000 pounds, it should have no problem with that um, because a face cord of wood does not weigh 2,000 pounds or a third of a cord if you prefer. Um, from what I remember, it's gonna weigh 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, somewhere in that range. Um, but we're, anyway, we're going to open up the box and we're going to hook this sucker up right now. Well, let's see if I can find out how to figure out how to open this thing. I'm guessing that it's simple because it says no tools required. I like that. I like no tools. Uh oh, we got parts. More parts. Oh, there it is. And there that is. It's a hooker on her part. And this is the crank, I'm guessing. And we got another part coming out. And instructions. And they're even in English, it looks like. And that's it. The box is empty. So, not much to it, really, which is usually a good thing when it comes to tools. I opened up the instructions, and right away I've got problems. It says assembly precautions. This is gonna be bad. It says assemble only according to these instructions before use. Wear approved safety goggles. That's not gonna happen. Keep assembly clean and well lit. Well, I got the sun, but it's not clean. I'm in a dirty wood yard, so that one's out also. Keep bystanders out of the area during assembly. I'm alone. Do not assemble when tired or under influence of alcohol, drugs, or medication. We'll skip that part. Uh, weight capacity and other product capabilities apply to properly and completely assembled product only. So in other words, they don't want to be liable for anything. Here's the precautions. Do not exceed the rated weight capacity of the cargo and loader. That's not going to happen. We're going to test it. We're going to really push it. We're gonna we're gonna put a mountain of wood on this baby and see what it'll do. I'm gonna put all my wood on it. So the next one, set the parking brake before unloading. Do not unload truck while it's moving. Well, pfft. what good is it if I can't do a drive-by unloading? Do not stand behind the truck while unloading. Well, the wood's gonna come out here, and I have to be here to turn the crank. So how are you gonna do that? Be in the front of the truck to turn the crank? That makes no sense. Do not force the crank. Well, I'm gonna force the crank. <laughs> if it does not crank, very difficult to turn. See unloading troubleshooting section. Yeah, because I'm gonna save these. <laughs> uh, close the tailgate and make sure it latches completely before loading. Okay, that makes sense. Check local automotive regulations before driving with unloader attached. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Check local automotive regulations. Oh, okay. Oh, and also, they got the goggles in here again. Wear the goggles when unloading. I like goggles. If stopping while unloading, 
let up pressure on handle before letting go. Stopping. That makes no sense. Make sure unloading area is clear of people and other objects before unloading. Well, I have to be here to unload it. I didn't know, I mean, if it had like a remote control, like with a uh, electric hookup where you could just push a button and stand off to the side. I don't see any of that. Um, secure roller bar before driving. Failure to do so, load sheet to billow by driving. Oh, well, that makes sense because I could see that going on the highway, having a giant black flag hanging out the back. This product is not a toy. Pfft. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Do not allow children to play with or near this item. Well, that counts me out again. Use as intended only. No, no, no. I'm going to use it however I feel like. Inspect before every use. Do not use if parts are loose or damaged. I'm going to loosen the parts and I'm going to damage the parts. No alterations may shall be made. I think I'm going to make some alterations. Maintain product labels and nameplates. These carry important safety information. If unreadable or missing, contact Harbor Freight Tools for replacement. <laughs> that I will do because it's probably going to break. Anyway, here we go. Time to get the thing put together. So I just read through the instructions and I have a sprayed in liner and it says the truck will explode if I try to crank a load with a sprayed on liner. Uh oh. Jet's flying over. Sorry about that. That happens here a lot, right in the middle of my videos. I'm not reshooting this. So what, what it says on there is if you have a sprayed in liner or debris that it won't work basically. So I have a sprayed in liner, but I'm gonna use it anyway. And if it breaks, it breaks. I really don't care. Um, and the debris has to be removed. You're supposed to wash your truck bed out and everything. Well, it's going to be full of debris every single time I use it. And I'm going to use it multiple times a day. So that's going to be a problem. But I am going to sweep out as much. I swept out already all the chunks. But now I still have some sawdust there. I'm trying to get thawed out to try to scrape that out so that I can uh, hook it up. But it looks pretty simple. So we'll give it a whirl. Well, I'm going to try to sweep out the rest of this stuff. Looks like it's thawed out better. Yep, it thawed out pretty good. How do you like my broom? Isn't that a dandy? First time I used it, I snapped the handle right off. I guess I was a little too aggressive, so I used some man tape on it. But it works. I hope I don't have to do this all the time to get the thing to work, because this is ridiculous already. I'm not much of a cleaner. I'm more of a messer. Oh. At least it's a beautiful day today in the wood yard. It is absolutely gorgeous. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. There's naked women running around behind the camera. It's awesome. You should see it. So anyway, we'll get this cleaned out. Sort of. I think that wouldn't have been a problem um, because it, this swept out real easy because it's all thawed out now. But what I'm worried about is the stuff that freezes on. That's what I'm worried about. When you get that crusty, chunky, icy stuff, that I think might be a problem. So there, I swept out the back. It is now cleaner than the bed has been in probably seven years since I bought it. It's the cleanest it's ever been. Usually it's covered in crud and stuff so there only is a few parts here um, so it can't be too hard but we'll get her all figured out and get it mounted so first thing I got to do is mount these brackets on the back and I'm not sure if there's a left and a right let's just see if there's any difference here no they look identical and the instructions didn't say anything about it so they must must work on either side. Oh, says right on here again. I have to put safety goggles on again. They must own a goggle company. They want me to wear these goggles. Well, right away here, I got a problem because this will not fit onto the back of the tailgate here. And it says no tools required, but I'm supposed to take this bolt out and move it over. So I guess I got to use my teeth. So one of my uh, viewers, one of you um, contacted me and uh, 
he's a construction guy that works around here and he uh, watches the channel and he saw on YouTube that you know I had the wood yard and he was in the area doing a, a quote for work and he saw all the wood piles and he says hey that's the guy so <laughs> he's coming to get some wood for his uh, uncle I believe and uh, so he's gonna back in here and we're gonna load up some wood for him right now So Chris just backed up here with his massive trailer. It is a uh, sure track and it's a what seven by twelve? Seven by twelve. And he's got seven thousand pound double axles, so he's got a fourteen thousand fourteen thousand pound capacity, right? Yeah. And the trailer itself weighs like thirty one hundred. Thirty one hundred. So yeah, it's a massive trailer. I think he's gonna have to leave it here for me and he can take my little trailer. <laughs> but yeah, it's a dandy. Um, oh and you've got the center jack here yep, center, center nice lift. nice that that is slick so it telescopes out right telescopes out like a like a regular dump truck nice it lifts a lot easier than that's what i've scissors. that's what i've i've been told yeah i heard there's the only bad thing is if you're if you're on any kind of a tilt or incline it can yep. break off and bend on you you got to watch that yeah, so that is the probably the only thing that i know of so far that right. you got to watch so. right and then you got the world's largest tr truck here. It's a one ton, is that right? Correct, yep. Yeah, that's a dandy too. I think I'll just trade straight up. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll work out of here. Yeah, so we're gonna load some wood now. It was covered up to just, so I pulled the tarp off because I sold a whole bunch of cherry. So it got snowed on, but it was covered in September. here almost every day. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is wonderful. It is miserable when it's raining or if it's, you know, like, more or less be a fun day, but... Yeah, no. The other thing too that you'll find out is you're gonna produce a lot of cookies. That whole pile there, that's all my cookies. Oh, is it? That's nice. So I covered up, I saw a lot of them. Really? Guys that heat with wood, that don't, you'll, you'll get to know them, they'll just say, bring me whatever's good, whatever you got mix, I don't care, it all burns. Yeah. Those are the guys that will buy your cookies. Really? Yeah, uh, I got one guy, normally if I fill my trailer full level, it's about a, about a full cord. And so that would be 330 bucks. And so two different guys I sell to. I told him, I said, normally that's 330. I said, how does, uh, I think I said 250, 250 bucks. They said, bring it. Right. So I've been selling all those too. And if it's a pickup load, like if a guy's taking it for camping, cause mm -hmm. a lot of guys buy them for camping. Yeah. Cause they're all, you know, they're all this stuff. Yep. Different chunks. And uh, if I do a pickup full, you can get about a half of a full cord. So that's a face cord and a half. And we filled it level, and normally that would be like 170 bucks, something like that. I just do it for 80 bucks. Nice. And I sell a lot of them like that too, because it gets rid of them. Because I don't have, I was burning with a like an outdoor boiler or something. I yeah. burned them myself, because well, exactly. my brother does that. But, you know, you get a lot of them. <laughs> I got a pile probably that size. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. from, you know, this spring till now. Yeah, you'll, you'll get I think more I'm, of them. I think I'm probably maybe too picky. Yeah. yeah. If, it gets, if it starts looking ugly or you know whatever, I am throwing it aside. Yeah. I, I, I try to keep stuff looking pretty uniform as much as possible too. But when you get you know, like a chunk like this, that's pretty rotten. That's why it's not in the pile. And obviously this is not good enough either. But mm -hmm. but yeah, once they get down to where they're odd size or. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is locust. When you, I don't know if you ever had locust before, yeah, there's no bark in any of it. This yeah. was cut green. When he got here, when John brought it, it was already starting to, the bark was like 50% off. No kidding. And as you cut it, the rest of the bark comes off. So it dries real fast, but it's got some weight to it. It looks basically just like, almost like white oak. Mm -hmm. It burns just excellent. Nice. The, the, guys, the guys that burn a lot of wood that have had locusts, they're like, that's the stuff. No kidding. Yep. Yeah, see that? That's where like, I'm so new into it, where it's like, I'm actually texting pictures you know, like if what I get it? trees, you know, that that someone will give me for free, I'll text it to Mike and I'll be like, hey, what kind of tree is this? <laughs> it's a free tree, that's what kind of it is. Yeah, <laughs> just go cut it. Yeah, a lot of times it's a tree that burns. Yeah, it's burnable wood. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that whole bundle thing is something that I would like to do, but I just don't have time. Right. I, I just don't. I mean, I know there's a market for it, but it's just not something I guess I want to pursue. But if you've already got one, the rest will come easier because then you got a reference. And, mm -hmm. and if you're producing out, I think the key for you is too, you're producing a different product, bigger. Yeah. I think that's, that's, that's good. The other thing that my brother does is. He sells a lot of cedar. Because people buy it for kindling, they buy it for campfires. He sells a lot. Like he bought a truckload of cedar. Really? He knows it burns fast, but people don't care. They love it for kindling, they love it for campfires because it smells awesome. Yep. And uh, that's what he does all his bundles in his, his, his cedar. No yeah. kidding. Huh. And he sells a ton of it. I have. People love it. And that's in northern Wisconsin where you would think they'd be pickier. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I have a, a, almost about a dump trailer and a half of cedar that's all cut. Nothing oh, yeah. split yet, because I didn't know. Well, you know. It'll dry real fast. Yeah. I mean, there's cedar you can br almost burn green. Oh, it's, but this locust, I love this stuff. I mean, you just you oh, hear you it. Can, oh. it's, it's good wood. I will, I look up to you because that's like, man, I love doing this, but I don't know if I can do it without the tractor. You know, you know. Well, a tractor is going to happen. It's going to happen eventually. It's on my list. Actually, I'm, I'm just trying to decide if I should get a processor first or a tractor first. But you kind of need one to have the other. Yup, exactly. So, I don't know. Well, you saw me and uh, Chris load up, the other Chris, <laughs> load up his uh, wood. He took off, and now I have to do a load right away because now I'm behind schedule because we talked way too much about deer hunting. Well, actually, we didn't talk enough about deer hunting, um, but we did that for a bunch of time. But now I have to get this load on, and I don't even have my uh, roller hooked up yet, so I'm just going to throw this load on and go deliver it because I'm supposed to be there in like 20 minutes. So I'm chucking wood right now. It's going in, and then we're going to go deliver it. Then when I come back, I can have time to play around with the uh, the unroller. Then I'll have to clean out the bed again. So anyway, it's how it goes. Just got to move wood the old-fashioned way this time, I guess. There it is, another beautiful load of red oak on its way to his new home where it's going to be very happy. So down the road we go again. So I just got done installing the load master and uh, I am not impressed at uh, the fit because it's a one size fit all, fits all bracket system. And I have a Toyota Tundra and obviously uh, it's made, this is made for smaller trucks. 
or skinnier trucks, this bracket right here is supposed to sit tight down here. That's by pounding on it. That's as low as I could get it right here. So this is extended out. It's an expandable bracket with a slot so you can slide it. And that's as wide as it gets. So it doesn't really fit like it's supposed to, first of all. And uh, as always, the instructions did not make as much sense as they could have. This is supposed to hold the whole thing down. This is a, this is a piece of uh, stretchy, slippery uh, nylon that you're supposed to attach this part to down to your bumper and then close it up and it's supposed to hold this down tight. But because it's such slippery material, I, I even threaded it differently to try to get it to hold on. And you just bump it a little bit and it loosens right up so it doesn't do anything. So this I'm not impressed with at all. And I'm worried if you don't have this on, that this whole thing will loosen up as you're driving. I don't know. This is supposed to hold, supposed to be the tailgate, bumper, keeper, strap, piece of garbage. I don't know. You're supposed to flop this down, and then this is supposed to go underneath here on your tailgate, I mean on your bumper, and then as you close this, it's supposed to tighten up. But it doesn't really get very, it's loose. It's just loose instantly. So, and I got it. Just ratchet it on as tight as I could get it up above here. So don't think much of that. Um, it is slippery material and I'm hoping with my um, liner, I mean my sprayed in bed, that it will still slide on here. So it is on and uh, it said no tools required like I mentioned, but I had to use tools to move this and tighten it up. I had to use tools on this to move these uh, screws and tighten these up where it holds, holds this in place, where it holds the rod in place. And of course, as always, I lost some parts. There's supposed to be a screw there and a nut, and it's somewhere down here. I looked for about 10 minutes, couldn't find it. So I guess I should have done this on blacktop. Would have been a lot better. The crank is nice and big, I like that. So I'm gonna show you how it's supposed to work anyway here. So here's how it's supposed to work. You open your gate, comes down, and then you take off your Velcro strappies here. I suppose I should get this so you guys could see. Take off the Velcro. I suppose I better put that in my pocket so it doesn't blow away. And then you just take this and just stretch this out all the way to the back there. Throw your material in and then close up the bed. And then and when you drop it down, you put the crank in and then it's a nice big crank. And then you just crank it up and it comes out towards you. So we're gonna give it a try. This will be the first experiment with it. This first delivery that I'm going to go do. Um, right now I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna close this up and we're gonna go load up uh, a load of cherry and that's gonna be delivered. So we're gonna give it a try. So there it is, it's on. So we'll see what happens. All right, we'll open her up. I have a spring assisted tailgate damper, dampener, dampener, as you can see. Usually it goes nice and slow, and now with this thing up here, it comes down pretty darn fast. So I don't like that either, but I, there's a lot of things I don't like. Anyway, so we'll take this off and we'll run her up there. So this will be interesting because this is wound up and all has memory to it with the, uh, fabric here so I got to get this up to the front I suppose I could crawl up in there that'll help let's give that a whirl uh oh I have debris in here now I could have had about half the load in by now so if this doesn't save me time I'm not gonna use it it will be a free item that someone can come get I'd be three quarters done loading by now. I was afraid of that. It's got so much memory, it just comes shooting back at me. So I better throw a couple chunks in there. Oh yeah, that's gonna get all beat up, I can see that. So this is probably gonna require like gentle handling. I don't know. I'm not excited. I'll see what happens here. See if I can get some wood in there without ruining the thing on the first day. 
I kind of feeling I'm going to bust it real fast because I'm that kind of guy. So I'll try to gently place some of these in here and see if I can uh, aim for the pile without hitting the delicate fabric. It is in, it is loaded. There it was, there it is. And I am going to go down the road and see if this baby works. I loaded it purposely more to the back as much as possible so I didn't have to worry about uh, behind the wheel wells, which I know is an issue. Um, I can squeeze through here. So yeah, I, didn't, I tried to not have as much back in here and up on the other side. So hopefully I can get the majority of it pulled out when I crank on the the big crank to get it out so we will see like i said if this doesn't save me time i'm chucking it because i can make more wood and i can make more money but i can't make any more time time is what matters to me i want it to be fast so we'll see we'll see and i'm not going to give it just one trial i'll give it a couple trials i'll try to make sure if i figure out you know the details on it but i will time myself and we'll see how we do so this is a long one i have a i think this is like a 45 mile drive i think my delivery charge is like 60 65 bucks or something for this one so it's a ways down the road and this guy orders oh probably like once a month i think this will be like the sixth maybe seventh time i've been there just since this fall so yeah he orders quite a bit i think this will be number six if i remember right and it's always cherry so here we go down the road I gotta pull ahead just a little bit. I got a new crank out thing so it should come out all by itself. Alright. Let's see what happens. Okay, I left my uh, delivery that I just did because I didn't want to do this review in front of the customer. I just told them, I said, yeah, it's something new I'm trying out. It doesn't seem to work. So I pulled over in a parking lot on my way back. And yeah, this thing just shredded. This All this fabric kind of pulled right out of here. Obviously, I'm stupid. I don't know how to use the thing or it's a piece of crap. It's one of the two. So what I did was I had wood 
pretty much not right in this area or behind the wheel well there, but there were some. So the only thing I can think of is what I'm going to need to do is the area behind the wheel well there. Maybe I can put something to stop all the wood from hitting that. Maybe build some type of a little either, I don't know, like a piece of plastic or something that would kind of cover that area or maybe a, a, a little box that would kind of fit right in there and then also fit right in here and it would stop the wood from being on that area there somehow. Maybe I can hook it up right into the D-ring that's over on the side there so I can lock it in and that way it wouldn't come out. And then maybe I could pull it out. So I'm gonna still try, but my first impression is it would have been more fun to burn a $50 bill. I am back in the wood yard and I took off the piece of crap, waste of money bed roller and there's the strap that went down the back that was supposed to hook on the tailgate. I had it tight when I left. It fell off on the way here. It's somewhere on the highway. I knew I couldn't get it tight enough. So it just, it's gone. So anyway, I'm gonna put this thing away, try another day, figure if I can get a way to make it work without wasting more time, which is what it's done so far. And I'm gonna uncover this. There's a bunch of wood in here. It's a red oak, I'm gonna throw that in. I'm gonna go deliver that. And that'll be the last delivery for today. So here we go, loading time. Another load is in the truck and ready to be delivered. And this is the last one of the day. It's, I don't know, almost six o'clock now. It's been getting dark. And then uh, that's gonna be it for me. So I'll be here tomorrow. You should be here tomorrow. Please hit the buttons, like, subscribe, share, all that kind of good stuff. It'd be awesome if you did. Thanks for watching. It's great that you're always here. And I'll see you tomorrow, right back here in the wood yard. I'll get on the woods and get cutting. And say good night to Irene for me.